But anyway, look at this place. This game, man. It's so birdy. Even birdier than your hair done, man. What was that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, this is where things get a bit tasty because there's like... One, two, three, four. Is there four or five? And they're all level 36, so... We're just gonna have to make this quick and snappy. Oh! Oh my god! Wow! Level 36 is not even like that high of a level. So it's like... Right. Everybody just focus all your attack on this dude. Come on. Sharla, how are you? Oh, fuck. I healed the wrong person. No, no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is a slaughter. What even? Like, what? Oh, you're out. Oh, you're out of here. Like, I feel like... No. Ryan. It's not worth it, Ryan. You know, I know this battle is tough. Okay. But, good boy. Don't, don't scare me like that ever again, Ryan. I'm gonna try Ricky out. Holy crap, dude, this fight is ridiculous. Ah! Uh, the Nintendo Switch is kicking my ass these past two days, man. Come on, Ricky. We need. Oh, Ricky. Oh, jeez. Oh, Ricky brought me back. Thanks, Rick. Oh, we got another one! Oh, get me out of here! I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I got another one! No! <laughs> get me out of here! No, no, no. No, no. Fuck off. <laughs> GG, everyone. GG. <laughs> we took one out, lads. We took one out. Right, so there's only two more left to fight. Oh, my God. It's so hard to control this sometimes. Oh, I hate this freaking thing that they do, man. It just nullifies everything! No, no, no! Right! Chain attack! Okay. Uh. Ricky do his bite? Whoa, that was a good bit of damage. Decent about it, it? Oh god. No, leave me alone. Only oh, got one left! We got one left! One left, chat! One left! Chain attack! Chain attack! Slash him! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I did it! I did it, Ricky, do good! Oh god, that fight is so irritating. In all honesty now, it probably is possible, like, but that fight, to actually beat them all simultaneously, is it actually possible? Like, because I feel like at this level, it's not. You better reward us greatly for that. That was difficult. Oh, I got literally no rewards for that. Asshole. <laughs> And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monada? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monada will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your Majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to... Melia? And the young man. Shook. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, 
Since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? The what? Episode, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. Trial of the tomb, that's exciting. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. Uh, the first consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. Here she is. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, Your Majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. What the hell? Wait, can he he can read minds, yeah? The trial of the tomb. Ah. Oh, looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk! Ricky tired. Oh, poor Ricky. <laughs> Ricky sleeping. Ricky, you you now. fought the good fight, Ricky. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. Yay! All right. So we made it. We done it. We did it. We did this every party. We did it. That was a really tough fight, dude. Hey, I'm here! Yes? Please accept my humble gratitude for rescuing the repair worker. You must be tired. Please feel welcome to rest. Yes, we shall rest. Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. Oh. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. The frame rate is shite <laughs> for little more than 20 of that years. video. But today I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua. Oh, that's Melia. It's, it's her. She's wearing a mask. She's a princess. Took you long enough. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> I thought the spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become your crown princess. Okay.
Uh oh, vision. Vision time. What the fuck? Oh, shite. What? The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. What is your deal? First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Oh, he heard everything. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a high Entia first consort and a Hom second consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask. Uh oh, he witnessed everything. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melia not like other bird people. Melly like hom hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute. Oi, you'll give a homs a heart attack shouting like that. <gasps> Wait a minute. <laughs> Melia needs our help. <laughs> Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already. Uh oh. Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What did you order for room service, Don Van? <laughs> oh shit, we're getting into it! Level 34. We're doing no damage. Yay! We did it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Why why were they like hard to kill? Who are these guys? Shulk. These are Inquisitors. What is this? Uh-oh. More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Callion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. Oh, it is. Melia is in danger. She'll be killed as an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? 
You could see That's the future. <laughs> now. Some of these lines, man, they're so memeable. It's ridiculous. Your Highness. As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. She lovely, isn't she? Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy run. But Dumban, this ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem. Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Nope. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break, and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this mechon bashing band of horns. The protector. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. Yeah. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. All right, I was wondering. So the Monado actually can hurt people. That's why I was doing no damage. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. Oh, really? Wait, what can you do then? I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer, then, are you? <laughs> Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see. <laughs> Not much use there, eh? Yeah. What a lucky coincidence that I happen to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether, control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. That is all. 
Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. All right. Uh -oh. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. Right, so sealed chamber. What's the story here then? This place is cool, isn't it? My girl Melia here. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. Whoa. Cool. How are the the hums are gonna get through here? Oh, speaking of the hums, it's so cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited. Well, what does this do? Don't oh shit! <laughs> God damn it, right? Oh no! Oh, Ricky! <laughs> Hi, Entia Tomb. Cool. Are we gonna be switching to and from here? Now we're Melia again. Right, let's see. Oh, whoa! That is cool! Star Serum Flames of Absolution! Put you asleep. Now. Nice. What's this do? Mind Blast. Arc Seal. What's this do? Whoa! That is ridiculous! Wow, Melia is really cool. She's a proper wizard. You're a wizard, Melia. You're a wizard. Hagrid told me to tell you. Start searing flames of absolution. Oh, I got one. Oh, I'm so dead, though. Oh God. I only have to do one more attack. Oh, we got it. Whoa. <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! I nearly lost that fight! <laughs> We're at the ceremony hall now. You have done well, my descendant. Descendant? Are you the progenitor of Antiqua? Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. Do not mistake me for a living being. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. I do not 
quite understand. But I do not suspect any falsehood in your words. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. I am not real, but I do not lie. Joy? What do you mean? The results of the gene analysis show Hong's gene integration of 80%. Estimates suggest evolution within eight generations. Our wishes are almost fulfilled. Wishes? Our purpose, as decreed by the Bionis, is linked to our genetic sequence. We have spent millennia analyzing sequences to free ourselves from the curse. Only a certain gene set will unlock the mechanism and set us free. I still do not understand. It is of no consequence. I grant you this seal. Is this...? It is you who will rule the High Entia, and likely be their last. Last? Indeed, ancestor, I... Go forth and rule, my descendant. Oh. So the spirits look favorably upon you. Uh oh. <gasps> the hell? Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. You're just a subject. Mother's subject? No impure child of the second consort has the right to refer to the first consort as mother. Oh, shut up. You're only jealous. A, a, a filthy Homs half-breed has no right to the throne. Should you just call us a filthy mudblood? Oh, Jesus, now let me tell you. Let me slap you with me wand. Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? Oh, they landed in war. As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. Friend, not clever touching button. Ugh, I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? This time it is your fault. <laughs> Precisely. Well, um... Accept it, Ryan. Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. Right. Let's push on and on and on! Let's get all these items. Uh-oh. Whoa! Let's him down. I got you. Shit. Ryan's gone. I'll get Ryan, I'll get Ryan. Good Don't worry. Job, Gotta give it everything we got now. Come on, come on. We can do it, we can do it. 
We got it. We got this. This is ours. This is ours. We did it! Yes, we came out on top. Let's go! What a bunch of jokers! Now let's press on. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's it, lads. Come on. We got it. Alley oop. We'll fall there now, lads. Don't burn! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> That is a big ball of something. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> it's not attacking us, at least. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that. Oh, crap. Boss fight. Another defense mechanism. At a guess, we're looking at the team's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. What record? <laughs> sort of right. All right. Okay. Boss fight. Here we go. Level 36. Okay. This shouldn't be too bad. Oh, he's after me now. Whoop his ass. We got him. Easy peasy. Anyone would think we're not wanted. Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. Huh. <laughs> got you there, right? Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. What's up, Bisto Bay? We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. We must press on. Well, that's a big ball of something. Right, let's go this way. Oh! Our Luga Rufus! I'm invisible. <laughs> Oh, go away. Missed me. Oh shit, wrong thing. No, no, not Monado power. There we go. Let's lock him down. There we go. Yeah, you like that? This. Yeah. And it's over. Oh, we got somebody else. Well. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's not lose How are you liking Xenoblade? No, I really like Xenoblade. I really do. I think it's a really fun game. It's like, it does take a lot of strategy to get through certain enemies. And, like, grinding and stuff in it is really enjoyable as well. And the story so far is just, it's just, right now, it's like super co complicated. Because everything is just, like, real cryptic. 
but I think that's on purpose. I do feel like the story is going to be like a big massive OMG as we get closer to the end. Boom! There it is! We did it! Chat saying there's a button. Okay, we'll find a button, so. Ah, oh, right there. Sorry, I didn't even see that. Right, we got the button. We got the items in the process anyway, so. Right, what's the story up here? Ooh. Okay. I feel like we made a lot of progress today, so I'm really happy about that. That's the one thing that I wanted to do in today's stream, was progression through the story, and I feel like we got a good bit of it today. And some of the fights are really hard. Oh, here we go. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, not another Telethia! Oh, I don't want to do this! Oh god! Shit, maybe I should have changed the party. I think focus your attacks on this guy. Done ban. Oh my god. This is really tough. <sighs> I'm so done. I'm dead, look. Fucking hell. Um I don't want to use Sharla because I can't okay, I'm gonna use Ryan myself. And I think I'm gonna switch for Sharla. And we'll try it like that, maybe. Oh my god, Charla, will you heal, Ryan? Oh my god. Charla! Fuck! Alright, lads, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Right, so she is actually a nuisance. Because she's just in the way. And then you have to deal with the Telethia at the same time. Bloody hell, dude. Yeah, fight him. Why am I stuck? Oh my god. What is going on, dude? What is this shite? Bloody hell. And I'm dead. Shulk AI is fucking shite. Right. I don't know if I am underleveled. Maybe you can do this like this, but... Jeez, this is like really, really tough. Um... And my party is nowhere near strong enough to take them all down. What the fuck? He toppled us all! What the hell, dude? Jesus. Oh my god, toppled us all again. What a prick. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, no! Oh, good attempt. That was a good attempt. Fortunately, we're gonna come across walls like this in our playthrough. Um, that can actually be helped. You have to, like, there is time there that you need to put in to actually progress. You can't just, you know, you can't just butter your way through this whole game, you know? Um, but yeah, uh, I feel like that was a, a pretty successful stream. Um, I think we've done a decent amount there. Obviously, like, there's still so much more to the story, and there's still so much more to do. But, um, what we've done here today, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I think progressing through there, it's gonna be, it's gonna be easy enough, I think, once I do a little bit more grinding. Um, and work out a little bit more with the characters. It's just, it's just one of these games, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles, I'm enjoying it and all. But it's definitely a game that you need to put a lot of your, your time into to to get better at the game like i am doing my best with the amount of time that i am putting into the game um and i know there's a lot of you out there that has put so much time into this game because like this was your primary focus um when it comes to gaming and you put all your time into it but 
that's you know there there is a difference there's a huge difference um i'm streaming multiple different games and i play on multiple different platforms and i make videos and i edit them and i stream four times a week there, there's only much there's only so much time i can actually put in to xenoblade chronicles um i'd like to put more time into it but i have to i have to divide it out evenly so i hope you hopefully you understand now i know there has been like so much backseating going on in today's stream, which is really irritating. People telling me to upgrade my gear, just constantly spamming that, telling me to do this, do that, and uh, you know, use this art, use that art. Like that doesn't help me. You play your this game has to be played in different ways, not the way you played it. Okay. Um, so look, I understand where backseating comes from, but sometimes it can be just really obnoxious, and it, there's no need for it whatsoever, like at all. So um, anyway, nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Um, I had fun with it. I think Xenoblade is a really interesting and unique game. It definitely tests your multitasking capabilities with um, with gaming. Uh, it's not something that I'm too used to doing, but I enjoy playing it, and it really does test my my gaming skills and and all that stuff. But like I said, there's only so much time I can put into it, and I really hope. Um, you know what we done today was enough to satisfy you um, with the story. Obviously, there's still so much more to go, um, but I do plan on doing a lot more like side missions and stuff and more grinding, understanding the characters a little bit more. And yes, I will get to my gear. You know, I will get to the gear and the gem crafting and all that stuff. Um, it's just getting the full understanding of the game takes time. So you just have to give me that time, you know, like I've, I've heard a lot of streamers and YouTubers stop playing this game because of the constant bombardment of backseating and people telling them what to do. You know, you're adding extra pressure to the streamer and it's not fair. So don't do that, please. It's not fair. Look, if you played this game and you know how to play it, then fair play it to you. Like, you have my respect. You beat the game, whatever. But you also have to consider that I'm a streamer. I'm a content creator. I also have an audience and I am here to entertain. So I can't do many different things at once. This game is already a multitasking kind of game so please please fight the urge to backseat and tell me what to do it's not fair at all okay i'm doing my best i'm doing my best that's all i can say um but anybody that is supporting and just letting me be letting me be with the game i appreciate you very much thank you so much for supporting and just tuning in and just letting it flow that's the only way i learn you telling me what to do doesn't help me i won't learn that way I'll only learn by figuring it out myself. So, honestly, I think it's so far the way I'm, you know, progressing is decent. I am understanding a game a lot more, but sometimes I forget things because I'm not playing the game all the time. So, that's obviously something to consider as well. Um, but yeah, anybody that hasn't backseated and are not telling me what to do, I appreciate it. And when I ask for help, that's when I want help. I do it for all the games that I play. All right, lads and ladies, that is going to end today's episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, as you can see, there was we, we progressed a good bit, I think, of the story, but we also kind of came across a lot of hiccups along the way with the fights. There's still so much for me to learn when it comes to the mechanics of the game, but I promise I will eventually get there. Um, like Xenoblade Chronicles isn't my main game that I'm playing and I'm trying to put as much time as I can into it so just bear with me I will eventually progress through and I'll get better and as I get better we'll make more progress in future installments of the series but anyway lads, I am going to end this video here thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you guys have been watching on Twitch make sure you leave a follow right here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash db geek anyway lads thank you so much for tuning in and as always stay geeky stay cool be awesome and be happy and i'll see you dudes in my next xenoblade chronicles video see you later dudes